Our last video was day one of the famous Hajan loop. So make sure you click up here and watch that one first. Good morning on day number two. Oh, fresh and cold morning. All right, let's get going. On day one, we started here in Hajan city and drove around a hundred kilometers to somewhere around Yenmin. And now we witnessed this beautiful popular spot where you most likely will stop to grab some drone shots, hopefully. Look at Dragon right here. He's our new photographer. <laughs> You have the best chances for good weather from March to May and September to November. Our guide told us that the rice fields are the greenest in September. We went at the beginning of March and we only got lucky with the weather on one day. And the rice plants were tiny so everything looked rather brown. I think I'm gonna be saying this a lot, but look at these mountains. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, this spot. <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely crazy. I don't think I need to say this, but this right here was amazing. Check this view out. Isn't this just phenomenal? Look at the river, look at the color and that viewpoint, you see that V shape? Oh my God. I was very sad we couldn't do the river boat. So regardless of the weather, just do it, man. You can also go to this little viewpoint where you can pay a drinks fee to enter and take some pictures from here. Day three was an absolute weather chaos and we started already to make our way out of the Hajan Loop and towards the big waterfall on the Vietnam-China border. Welcome to the real Heaven's Gate. Today is packed with highlights and we're starting off with the actual Heaven's Gate. Now the cool thing is you can also camp here and have this view in front of you when you wake up. If we have done that, we would have 100% done that. You can even explore the backside of these mountains. Then I had this crazy idea, which I was so afraid of at first, but Bali and her dad convinced me to do it. and. I believe I might have been the first person ever to fly through this hole. We made it to our fourth or fifth homestay so far. <sighs> Only 30 minutes after our homestay, now we're on our way to China. Just seven minutes off of our homestay, we get to enjoy this incredible, incredible place that most people miss because it's technically not in the Hajan Loop, 
it took us we took extra two day two day two extra days to come see this and you're gonna see it right now behold the beauty of the waterfall Wow, this place is absolutely crazy. And just the fact that China is literally on the other side makes this even more crazy. Later, we went up the mountains to the temple to see the view better because you are not allowed to fly drones from the bottom of the waterfall, but you can fly from outside of the area. And as for day number five, we started to make our way back to the loop and a miracle happened. For the first time, the sky got clear and the weather hot. And I want to say how all of this made everything so much better. I could finally see the mountains and they are spectacular. This looks completely different <laughs> than the first time we passed it. Absolutely different. Because the first time, yeah, the first time you actually could not see anything. All the fog and stuff. But now, wow. It's quite, quite the view. The Holy Spirit, the 20 turns. So you have probably heard some people referring to the Hajan Loop as the death road. And while there are a few sketchy passages on the side roads, if you stay on the main roads, you should have no problem. In the beginning, we were worried that a 125 ccm motorbike would be too weak for battling her dad because there are a lot of pretty steep sections. But they used a 125cc automatic motorbike and there were no issues at all. So that burst the myth that many people believe that a manual motorbike is a must have. As a side note, most of the locals living in the mountains only have a 50 ccm motorbike. But it's up to you what you decide. Today is the last day of the Hajan Loop and we're going to be making our way back to our first 
home base, homestay, and it's gonna be about 130, 100, I think 130 kilometers. Meaning we have to say goodbye to this whole view. Literally, this homestay right now is at like at the tip of mountain. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's get ready to go. You ready to go? Yes. Back in the road. We're on our first cow market ever. Well, at least me. In the middle of nowhere. So many cows. <laughs> Home sweet home. Made it home. No way, we made it. <laughs> Lim homestay. Oh my god. Dragon, we made it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, one more time, one more time. There you go. Wow. Survivors, survivors. Well, this has been an epic six days and five nights all around the Hajan Loop. If you're thinking about doing it, it's a 100% thing that you should do. Right now, just gotta get some food and spend the last night here in this town and then tomorrow we'll go to Hanoi. So, see you in the next one. <laughs>